whether I am talking to someone who is in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, from all different walks of life, from all different situations, the one thing that they all have in common is not realizing how exhausting the stress of a divorce is. You deal with it all day long. It never really leaves you. And suddenly you realize that you're tired, you're angry, you're lonely, you're sad, and you just don't have the energy to deal with it. One of the important things to do for yourself during this time is to stay healthy. Eat right because you won't feel like eating. Exercise even though it seems hard to do. Get as much sleep as you can. You'll probably wake up with checklists of things that you wish you'd done or need to do or conversations you never finished or an argument you had with your ex. But before getting up and letting the night go by, do whatever you need to do to get back to sleep. Take a warm bath, read a book, watch a movie, a quiet movie, but do things for yourself that allow you to have the energy to face the next day. Also, be careful about what you do to remember and to grieve. Listening to music can be very helpful, but it can also evoke very painful memories. Think about the places you go and the people you're with and choose the ones that feel good. You don't have to take on all the hard stuff all at once right now. Through all the research and expert opinions about divorce, we've come to understand that there are three things that make a difference. The first is if you have children, continuing to provide warmth, consistent discipline, and structure. Be the parent you always were and you always wanted to be. The second one is to minimize conflict. Whether you have children or not, Minimizing conflict with your ex-spouse leads to a healthier family. Third, again, if you have children, both parents need to be involved. Having both parents involved, especially fathers, since they're the ones most likely to slip away, is the third way to make sure that your family moves through divorce smoothly and efficiently.